Good morning. I'm Doug Laughlin with Smith Howell and Associates, your local Somerville real estate attorney. And I'm here to talk with you today about how to read a closing disclosure. This is one of All right, so as we go through here, I'm going to have you follow along and I've taken close up pictures, which will be coming up on your screen of each of these sections so that you can read and see exactly what I'm seeing. That'll help you further later on when you get your closing disclosure to match them up. All right, section one. If you look up here under loan information, this is gonna list some basic but very important information about your loan. The loan term, which in this case is 15 years, generally we see it to be 15 or 30. The purpose, which is purchase for this example, it can be purchase or refinance. The product, which will be either a fixed rate loan or a variable rate loan. In this case, it's fixed. And then the loan type. There are three options. There's conventional, FHA, and VA. In this case, it's conventional. Um, and I will have further videos later about what the differences are between an FHA loan, a VA loan, and a conventional loan. But suffice it to know that for now, this is a 15 year fixed rate conventional loan. If you look here in section two, you'll see that the loan amount is 130,000. That's how much they're borrowing. The interest rate is 6.375%. Monthly principal and interest payment is 1,123.53. It's very important to note this amount will never change. Your mortgage payment is actually made up of three separate sub payments. The first being that principal and interest that we already talked about, which is 1,123.53. The second being mortgage insurance, which is a payment that you have to make to cover the bank uh, in loans where you have put less than 20% down on a conventional loan or through a certain period of time in an FHA or a VA loan. In this case, there was zero. They had already put 20% 20, 20 down, so they're good there. Now, this next one is where things change a lot for people. This is your estimated escrow. An escrow account is created by your bank or your lender to pay your taxes and insurance. You pay into that account with part of your monthly payment. That portion of your payment can change as insurance and taxes raise or lower. We're on the last page now, uh, which is loan calculations. So if you look at this first number, total of payments, this will say the total amount that you will have paid if you just pay the minimum throughout the life of the loan, in this case, 204,513. Then the finance charges underneath that, that's the amount of interest you'll pay over the life of the loan. In this case, 72,926. The amount financed, that's the amount that you borrowed. Annual percentage rate, that's your cost of this loan. That's with your interest rate plus all the closing costs included, uh, considered out to be a percentage. And then your total interest percentage is the total amount of interest that you'll pay over the loan term as a percentage of the loan amount. Uh, so that's divided back into the loan. Uh, by and large, the main things that you need to know are these first two up here. If you have any questions about this or really any other real estate legal matter, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call me on the office. You can text me. You can call my cell phone. You can reach me on Facebook in either my Facebook or the company Facebook. Or you can just go to smithhowell.com and you can reach me that way as well. I'm Doug Laughlin, your local Somerville real estate attorney here with Smith Howell and Associates, and I'm here for you.